Good morning and welcome to Courthouse Community United Methodist Church. We're so glad you're here. I hope you had a chance to grab a donut and coffee in the Family Life Center, but if you didn't, it's too late now. You'll have to plan better next week. We're ready to start our announcements and they're full of all kinds of information you'll want to know. So sit back, grab your bulletin if you want to make notes, and make sure you fill out your attendance on the tear-off panel. And away we go. Don't forget that we have duck donuts, fruit, and coffee in the Family Life Center every Sunday. You can come over and grab a donut before or after services or on your way to your Sunday school class. Just come on over and get one because they are delicious. Do you have an interest in serving the well-being of our congregation and community through programs like teaching heart healthy cooking, stress management, or caring for the elderly? If so, you should come and check out this exciting new ministry the Congregational Health Ministry Team. This group will focus on ways to serve the whole person, just as Jesus did. He ministered to the many aspects of an individual, including the physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, and social, and this new ministry will give us the opportunity to do that also. Whether you are a healthcare professional or not, if you have a heart to serve God's people, then come to the organizational meeting on Wednesday, May 6th at 6.30 and see where you can put your special talents to use for God's people. Ladies, time is almost up for you to get tickets for the United Methodist Women's Tea on May 2nd. Serenity, a spiritual spa brunch, a time to receive, relax, and rejuvenate. This fabulous event is next Saturday from 10 until noon, and you can still get tickets in the lobby. Adult tickets are $7 and child tickets are $5. There will be guest speakers and a children's program, as well as prizes for the most serenely decorated table. This is a dream event that is sure to change you both inside and out. Ah! I believe I said dream, not nightmare. Oh, actually, Maybe the changes will be more on the inside than the outside. I wonder what's in this mask anyway. See you there. Sometimes disasters happen. You can't do much to stop them, but you can be ready to respond. If you have a certification in early response and need to renew it, or if you're interested in learning more about disaster readiness, Michelle McCallion will be doing an early response training session here at CCUMC on April 30th at 6 p.m. Make plans to attend, then be prepared to be prepared. You know, I'm not trying to tell you, tell you what to do, but I will say it would be nice if you invite someone to church next Sunday and you could show them around. I mean, I would, but hey, I'm a baby. Yeah, you know, me and the boys have been talking about what we could do to get your attention. And I was like, I'm written a clown. <laughs> and I did Bobo here. And uh, I really underestimated the creepiness. Here at Courthouse Community United Methodist Church, we are very grateful to all those who have served or are serving in our military. And this year, in honor of Memorial Day, we're having a special service on Sunday, May 24th at 7.30 p.m. in the Family Life Center. We would love to have any active or retired service members serve as ushers or greeters, and would especially love to have representatives from each branch of the military to serve in our color guard. If you are interested, please contact the church office. This event is open to the community, so please, Invite your neighbors and plan to attend on May 24th at 7.30 p.m. Hey, guess what we have in the lobby today? A tech bar with helpful app wizards. A tech bar? What is that? I mean, I've heard of breakfast bars and chocolate bars, but I don't think I've heard of a tech bar. Maybe that's because I'm not a techie? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what it is at all. A tech bar is where you go to get help from technical geniuses with all of your technical problems. 
like downloading our new app or using our website. We have some very smart people here at CCUMC who are out in the lobby right now, just waiting to help you with Twitter or YouTube or our website or texting, stuff like that. Well, that sounds great. I'd really like to get some help looking at all that's on our website and also how to use our new app. Then check with the app wizards in the lobby and they'll fix you right up. Did you know that we have a beneficent box? No, it's benevolence. Try again. Did you know that we have a beneficial box? No, no, it's benevolence. Try again. Did you know we have a beneficiary box? No, it's benevolence. Well, you don't have to yell. Did you know we have a benevolence box at the rear of the sanctuary? Yes, finally. But what is a benevolence box anyway? Oh, good grief. Okay, a benevolence box is where we collect money that is used to help people who are having a hard time, like with a water bill or rent or something. You can put money in it at any time, and then it is available to help people when they have a need. Hmm. Well, that is a really nice thing. So, folks. Don't forget to think out of the box and put your money into the box because then you can be a benefactor and people will benefit from your beneficence when you put your Benjamins into that beautiful, beneficial, benevolence box. Just say thanks for your donations, Jerry. Thanks for your donations, Jerry. Oh, we are done here. Hey girl, hey! Hey Home Slice, what's up? I saw you at the ball game last night on the Jumbotron four times! Yes! You were looking fabuloso! Gracias, my friend, but mm -hmm. you know what? You were right beside me and then we took a... Selfie! Hi, and Randy, at the game. Facebook, posted to Facebook, mm -hmm. and then I saw on Facebook that we have a disco ball at the office. Are you for real? Ooh, we're not supposed to say that because Randy doesn't know that when he leaves for a meeting, a disco ball comes out, confetti drops from the ceiling, fog starts coming out, and then we have a dance party because you want to know why? Why? Because we're all about that fun, about that fun, no judgment. We're all about that fun, about that fun, no judgment. We're bringing skates back! Go ahead and tell that congregation that! Oh, oh, Teresa, no, no. We are, though, Sorry. bringing skating back. In fact, we're bringing skating back on May 2nd. We're going to have a great time with the youth group, but wait, everybody gets to go. Everybody. What? Yeah. I no. can bring all the kids and the children oh. and parents and yeah. everybody? Kids and children and parents have to yes. come with the kids and children and parents, but youth can go with a permission slip and come with the youth group. It's on May 2nd from 8 to 10.30 p.m. We are going skating. Whee! Yay! Yay! On May 21st, we're going to another Tides game. Roll Tide! Not that Tide. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Great wow. opportunities to get together with your friends, your family, and the youth group. It's going to be a very good time. Yes, I can tell by how excited they are after a few seconds. They're extraordinarily excited. Do you know what I'm excited about? Going back to the ball game and making another selfie! Uh, at the uh, ball uh, game! Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. That's enough. That's enough for one night. Now. Yeah, you guys can calm down. It's so, okay. Sorry, Alex. It's all good. It's all good. So once again, on May 2nd, join us for roller skating from 8 to 10.30 p.m. And on the 21st of May, a ball game. All this information is available on our website. Oh. We're bringing 